have arrived at our tiny house by the beach, also known mm. as a bunkie. <laughs> it's a bit of a climb. Okay, Google, am I irresistible? I feel like Sam is trying to replace <laughs> me with Google. Jeez. We have our own private balcony that looks out over the woods. I'm looking forward to my morning coffee out here. Yes. That's gonna be so nice. The sounds and sights of nature. All right, hello, hello guys. Hey guys. Time for another weekend adventure. Indeed. Indeed. Today, we are taking you to a tiny house by the beach. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. We haven't done a beachfront stay before, have we? No, we this have not. Great. So I'm pretty excited. Like yeah. we've done the woods, we've done farms, like yeah. lots of nature stuff. This time we're by the beach. Yeah, so of course, before we check in, because check-in is usually in the afternoon, we're gonna take you for a little hike. We're planning to head over to Copeland Forest. Yeah. Then we're gonna make time for some food because we just like to eat in general. So yeah, that's that is it for now. We will see you shortly. Cool. Welcome to Copeland Forest. Welcome, welcome. We've made it. We've made it. Yeah. We're going on our little hike. Yes, it's we like are. a very thick wooded area. Yeah. This is a big piece of land, a big piece of conservation area. Yeah. So much so that we noticed uh, some other people arriving here as well. Mm -hmm. We noticed some families doing some biking yeah. and uh, there's a number of different trails you can choose from. We're just gonna do the probably the easiest one, but it's just nice <laughs> to be out in the woods going for a walk Indeed. away from the city. Yes. Right? So first impressions of this place, we knew it was big, but we didn't realize it was 4,400 acres big. That's so pretty massive. That explains all the trails, huh? The trails here are nice and wide, which is kind of fascinating because the rest of the forest is really thick and dense. Yeah. So you have this nice big path, spacious path, but then you look to your left, you look to your right and it's just covered in forest. And also, can I just mention, the sun is starting to come out after days of yeah. gray skies and rain. Finally, oh a little bit of blue. Uh, kind of forgot what that was all about. <laughs> a little huh? bit of warmth. Forgot what the sun even looked like. It's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. Welcome, welcome. We have arrived at our tiny house by the beach, also known mm. as a bunkie. And it is bunkie super time. cool in here. It is. Super rustic. Yeah. Kind of modern. Yeah. Feels cozy. We're just 500 meters from the beach. So yeah. I'm feeling relaxed already. That it's, is good. It, it's so chill here. Yeah. It's just like there's the beach vibes. I'm beach feeling vibes, the beach vibes, which we are going to show you shortly. Yes. But first, we wanted to give you a tour of this tiny house because yeah. it is super unique. So let's just get started. Get started. We're going to start in the messiest part, which is where we offloaded our, our accumulation luggage. Accumulation corner. <laughs> uh, let's ignore the mess on the ground. <laughs> First, our breakfast station. Yeah. We have a Keurig coffee maker. They left us some coffee, hot chocolate, wine, opener. wine bottle opener. It makes me wish we, we brought wine. We decided to take a little break from the wines. So there's even a wine fridge. Yeah. You know? I know. That was impressive. I was like, maybe they left the bottle in there. No. No. <laughs> Bring your own bottle. Bring your own bottle, yeah. All right. Then we've got a lovely fireplace, but yep. the weather has completely changed. It's starting to warm up, so I'm not yep. sure we'll need it. Um, there's also a TV that's connected to Netflix. Maybe we'll watch a movie when we get back from the beach. 
Oh, for sure we will. That might be fun. And we didn't bring our computers, so yeah, I'm no, pretty sure we, we will. No, we don't bring our computers on these escapes, nope. and I enjoy it so much more. It's like, exactly. why? Why? We're only away for a little bit. Why don't Let's we say it. hi to our, our friend, the moose up there? That's a deer. Oh, sorry, it's a deer. <laughs> Hello, yeah, right. deer. <laughs> it's not a moose. Oh, man. Bad Canadian. Someone needs a nap, huh? Okay, uh, second floor? Second floor. Yeah. We've got these two cool ladders. And this place has a bit of a loft vibe, so you actually yeah. have two sleeping areas upstairs. Yep. You have two big mattresses, so yes. technically you could have four people sleeping up there. Yeah, I'm going to stand back just to show you guys how tall this goes up. <laughs> it's a bit of a climb. If you don't mind climbing 12 feet, then no it's problem. Yeah. <laughs> if you do... <laughs> you, you might want to be sleeping on the couch right there. There's a, there a very large couch, that is yeah. true. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll show you the bathroom while sure. we're here. Come into the bathroom. All right. Voila, we have a sink, mm -hmm. lovely round mirror, toilet, a toilet. no shower, no. but you do have the beach if you're visiting in the summertime. That should be okay. Plus, <laughs> yeah. people only come here for like a night or two anyway, right. so it's not, not a Na big deal. Natural shower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then, the living area. Come on over. We have an L-shaped sectional couch. Yes. Or sleeping area. Or sleeping area. <laughs> you don't want to climb up or the 12 feet. Or sleeping area. Yeah. Lots of pillows, cozy blankets, cool coffee table. Yeah. And, oh, the best part really is the balcony. It is. We have our own private balcony that looks out over the woods. It looks out into the forest. Yep. So... Come on this way. Don't mind the ladder. Don't mind the ladder. You know what we can do later is we can light a candle. Light a candle. Look I'm looking forward to my morning coffee out here. Yes. That's going to be so nice. The sounds and sights of nature. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I also like that they've put up a net because yeah. in the summertime, mosquitoes can be vicious. There's a couple other cool features inside that I'll, Ooh, I'll talk about. Ooh, let's switch. Yeah, let's switch. So come on in. We've also got... The Google system. So Sam is forming a friendship with Google here. Okay, Google, am I irresistible? Well, I just looked up good looking on Merriam-Webster.com and the only definition they had was a photo of you. So I'd say a definitive oh. yes. Hey, I've made a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Sam is trying to replace me with Google. Gee. So before we get too far into the video, I want to say a big thank you to this week's video sponsor, which is NordVPN. And if you're not too familiar with what a VPN is, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it's a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online, which means you don't have to worry when you're using public networks in cafes, airports, hotels, or random Airbnbs like we are right now. So the cool thing about NordVPN is that you can have up to six devices on one account, which comes in pretty handy because between Sam and I, we've got three laptops and two phones. So yeah, that's a lot of technology that we tend to carry around. And the most frequent way that Sam and I actually use our VPN is to unlock shows on Netflix, which aren't available in all countries because in case you didn't know, Canada does not get the same shows that you might get in the US or the UK or Australia. So if you wanna try using a VPN, we're gonna have a code for you here on the screen and also in the description box. And this will give you a big discount on a two year plan plus one month free. So thanks again. NordVPN and now let's get back to the video. Well, no fish and chips. What happened? What happened? Apparently <laughs> fish and chips is seasonal. Yes. When you're in a small beach town, it starts in May. May. So, so we drove to another town which mostly had fast food options and we got Pizza Hut. Been a little while, huh? Sam's favorite. Pizza's Pizza is my favorite. Pizza is though. your favorite. Oh, yeah. There you go. They had a large four topping special. And last time we had Pizza Hut, we were trying to remember in the car. When did we actually have this? It was yeah. in Hong Kong. Yeah. And it was Valentine's Day. It was yeah. like date night. And Pizza Hut is considered fancy. It's fancy, fancy there. Dining. And expensive, by the way. <laughs> and expensive, yeah. So even in Korea, too. And guys, oh. before we tuck in, look at the views. We just arrived here. That's amazing. We're eating on the balcony. Yeah. Pretty cool. So. Garlic sauce. I know you love my vampire breath. This is, yeah, so. not, yeah. <laughs> not exactly. There we go. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna obviously show you the beach, but we're talking into food.
All right, so we are back in back. the cabin. Netflixing. Netflixing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we just finished watching Back to the Future, the yeah. first one. I had never, ever seen that movie. That's Well, like... it came out before you were born. So. No, I know, but it's a classic. Yeah, it's great. It's a classic. Everybody knows Back to the Future. Well, we've been watching a lot of 80s classics. We watched Crocodile yeah. Dundee lately. Yeah. We watched... Uh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Now it's Back to the Future. So yeah. We're on an 80s theme uh, <laughs> month or whatever. We are, but it got me thinking, like, for you guys, what are some of your biggest oversights when it comes to movies? Yeah. You know, classics that you probably should have seen, but you never have. And when you finally get around to it, it's like, whoa, what this took me so long? Wait, have you seen E.T.? <laughs> As a kid, it, yeah. and it scared me. Okay. It scared me. Well, we gotta, maybe we can try that one again, too. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to watch Back to the Future 2. Yeah. Just finished one. We have to see what happens to their kids. Right. The scientists came back for yeah. them. There's just like an innocence to the 80s movies. Yeah. And we got to see what they, they thought of what the future would be. I think there was yes. flying cars. Didn't quite make it to that <laughs> <laughs> from the 80s. Anyways. So here we go. Round two. Round two. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, morning guys. world. How is everyone? How are you guys? How are you? How did you sleep? Hey, I, I slept pretty good. How about you? Mm -hmm. I slept pretty well. You know, the fireplace turned on halfway through the night, it so did. it kept us nice and toasty. There was some like smart setting in, in, the, uh, in the place. There was. That <laughs> yeah. was like a super connected, futuristic type of tiny house, which at first it was like, whoa, technology, that's a bit invasive. <laughs> but when the fireplace turned on at like one in the morning, it was like, oh, that's so nice. I don't have to do it myself. Yeah, it was a little literal opposite experience we had at a previous day where we were having to tend the fire all yes. throughout the night. Yeah. So this one just poof, kicked in. Yeah, yeah, like a magic. So it was nice to wake up to the sounds of nature. There were birds yes. chirping, animals scurrying about. We had yeah. a really nice coffee on the balcony, a little mm. bit, a little bit chilly. We would put some blankets That's on. Some blankets. That was probably my favorite part of this tiny house. That little balcony with yes. the mosquito net, so you can enjoy it, you know, year round. Yeah. The views were so nice. It was just forest all around. Yeah, exactly. Um. So yeah, like the tiny house itself was really close to the main house and right. the garage, like. It's on a plot of land that has a mansion on site. Yeah. Um, so, like, you're kind of close in that regard. But then when you go to the balcony, like, you only see nature. So you feel like you're isolated. Right. It's kind of like, it's like another side of a coin. Yes. <laughs> you flip one side and, and you're right by the house. You flip the other side and you're right out of nature. Yeah. So yeah. it was a really good stay. I had fun. I enjoyed yeah. the forest hike we did yesterday. It was nice going to the beach. It was. There was no one at the beach. No, we nobody. were the only people there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, overall, a great overall great. Stay. Yeah, a great day too. And mm -hmm. it's been a nice drive. We've purposely chosen country roads. Yes. We started off with some fog. Oh, yeah. lots of fog. Lots of fog. Whoa. And then that lifted. And then we've basically been driving through rural areas the entire mm -hmm. time. Country roads. We've seen lots of farm properties, lots of barns. Yeah. yeah, it's been really nice as opposed to being on the highway. You know, I think it, it was only, the route was only going to take us like, what, five minutes more? 
going this way? I know. So, it, it's so much more relaxed. I'll, I'll take so that for worth, a few more minutes. So worth it. And you see different places that you've never seen before. Yeah. Go through so many different little communities little uh, little towns, little mm -hmm. farm areas. And yeah, it was just a fantastic trip. Um, really enjoyed it. Anytime we have a chance to escape the city, I know I, I probably sound like a broken record saying <laughs> this all the time, but I'll take it. There so. you go. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed coming along for this unique tiny house near the beach. Yeah. And as you know, we love unique stays, so we'll be back with more adventures. Yeah, well, plenty more. Yeah, so, so stay tuned. See you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.